possession. Ah, there's a box under the desk. Would you, uh, first of all, read out the card that's inside the box, and then when you've done that, place the object on the desk? This is a piece of rock taken from the surface of the moon and given to me by Buzz Aldrin. I'm currently using it to wedge my kitchen door open. <laughs> all right. Um, David's tea. Well, I mean, obviously, this is an odd use of the word currently. I mean, I... <laughs> <laughs> Can I just ask, how heavy is that piece of rock? Would you like to feel it? Mm. Oh, look, if it's... Hang on. Buzz Aldrin's got it from the yeah, moon, love to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> does that strike you as, as, as moon rock? Has it got a little shine to it? It does. It, maybe it's... Yeah. Nice. Can I just say, you three are looking at that like you know what proper moon rock would look like. <laughs> <laughs> but if that's a kind of you don't know anyway, do you? I've seen yeah. moon rock. Have you? Yeah, yeah, admittedly, from a very, very great <laughs> distance. <laughs> Has it got sort of some technical scientific name for the type of rock it is, other than moon rock? Well, actually, because uh, the moon is covered in all sorts of chemicals, which can uh. actually come from the birth of the solar system. So, um, as things sort of coalesced and formed, uh, this is sort of actually sort of a throwback to the birth of the solar system. And how did Buzz Aldrin come to give it to you? Ah, oh, well, um, in my capacity at Sky at Night, I meet all sorts of characters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm aware that Buzz Aldrin went to the moon. Yes. I'm quite knowledgeable. Um, <laughs> how much of that stuff did he bring back with him? <laughs> that he's got a chunk like that still to give out, you know, decades later. <laughs> Does he turn up to every engagement with a rucksack? <laughs> here you go, here you go. I mean, I think I'd be giving out little pebbles at most. They really famously but... don't have pebbles on the moon. No, but you can break it up, can't you? Not I mean, you must be able to break it, but otherwise the only bit of moon rock you could bring back would be the whole moon. <laughs> I'm not sure you can fasten it to the shape of a pebble. When was this? Ooh, so probably about six or seven years ago. You met him to interview him about, you know... Going to the moon, maybe. About going to the moon. <laughs> and he said, and what was it, at the end of the interview, he said, been nice meeting you, here's a bit of the moon, or...? or... <laughs> well, actually, I've always been fascinated by the moon. And we said we had this conversation and we were talking about the moon and the effects it has on people. And he said, well, yeah, here's a bit of the moon you know, for you to keep of your very own. And so he gave me some. You know, just before he gave it to you, he didn't pop outside, did he? For a <laughs> <laughs> he was around the garden. You, you didn't see him foraging around the bins by any chance, did you? <laughs> OK, so what do you think, Adam? Is it uh, adding up it, for you? Uh, no, it's going to be in museums and... I once went to the Vatican City and the lump of moon rock that NASA gave to the Vatican State is on display there, and it's about that big. <laughs> and I doubt that Buzz Aldrin would have given you moon rock, um, Look, you know, no about 100 times the size of the rock <laughs> that the United States of America gave to a sovereign state. <laughs> You know a lot about the moon, a lot about moon rock, but I don't think that that is a piece of moon rock. That, that it is, that's my hunch. So Jason says lie, Adam says lie. I also think it's you a say lie. lie. Yeah. Right. Maggie, truth or lie? It is actually a lie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a lie. And Maggie doesn't use a piece of moon rock.